Sustainability is at the heart of FCC Environment's operations, and the main reason the company chose to rebuild its 15-year-old CAT 836 landfill compactor instead of buying new. This is the UK's first CAT-certified rebuild of an 836 landfill compactor. It was the combination of sustainability, cost, performance and reliability that provided FCC with the confidence and reassurance to rebuild the machine. Stage 1 – Machine Pre-Repair Inspection Each rebuild has a dedicated team of engineers. The first job is a full washdown and pre-repair inspection. This includes dropping the belly guards and carrying out a detailed inspection of the machine and cab. Then it's ready for the engineers to get to work. Stage 2 – Workshop Strip Down Once in the workshop, the engineers begin to disassemble the machine piece by piece. This involves draining off all the oils and fluids from all major components, then disconnecting them. The axles are then removed, ready for the engine, torque converter and pumps to be taken out in one go. Then the transmission, fuel tank and steering cylinders are also removed. Stage 3 – In-Depth Inspection It's then time for the engineers to carry out a thorough inspection of the machine frame and parts to see what can be reconditioned and reused. For example, 7 out of 10 radiator cores were restored and reused in this rebuild. Stage 4 – Reassembly Stage Here's where the technical expertise of the engineers really comes into its own. The reassembly phase can take up to 9 weeks, depending on the size and complexity of the machine and reconditioning required. For this machine, the following components were fully rebuilt or reconditioned and installed. Once the major elements are refitted and the cab reinstalled, all the electrical elements are connected and oil and coolant topped up, ready to restart the machine. Stage 5 – Performance Inspection The performance testing is one of the most critical phases of the rebuild. The team undertakes detailed testing and appropriate adjustments to ensure all components are within Caterpillar's approved specifications. This includes the first run of the rebuilt machine, bleeding all the systems and testing the electrics. It's then time to test the engine, transmission and hydraulic systems by performing pressure checks and critical electronic calibrations. Stage 6 the finishing touches. The panel work is reinstalled along with the fire suppression and reverse camera systems. The wheels with full tip replacements are installed and lowered ready to leave the workshop. Final performance checks are undertaken and the rebuilt machine is ready to be handed over to the customer. It's a substantial uh, outlay to replace the machine. Sustainability 
it's, it's the right thing to do. It's the right thing for us to do to reduce and recycle. So we're reducing waste and we're recycling the machine completely from the ground up uh, to give us another five years worth of life. It's reducing the CO2 from that rebuild. And we are um, taking a machine that was was fully able to be refurbished and, and putting it back out there as practically a new product. Uh, we have a lot of machines that are larger. The lead times on those machines are such that we absolutely need to replace those machines as soon as possible. So putting it through a 12 week rebuild or a 22 week lead time means that it absolutely is the right way for us to look forward.